Before we begin, it should be noted that composables are generally preferred over mix-ins. We cover composables later in this tutorial series when we get to the composition API. We cover mix-ins here because they're useful to know and you may come across one in an older project. A mix-in is an object in a separate JavaScript file that contains code we want to reuse across multiple components. Mix-ins can contain any view option like data, methods, computed, etc. As an example, let's say we have a click counter component that tracks a counter based on the number of clicks on a button. We also have a hover counter component that tracks a counter based on the number of times an element was hovered over. Our root app component contains an instance of each. If we run the example in the browser, both the click and hover counters work as we expect. The problem is that we're duplicating code. Both components have the exact same logic. A mix-in allows us to define the tracking code once in an external file, then import and use it in both components. As we mentioned earlier, a mix-in is just a JavaScript file with a view config object. We can export the object directly, or we can store it in a variable and export that variable. As an example, we've created a file called counter in a directory called mixins. Inside it, we'll add the counter property and the increment method that the other two components have. We'll also export the object at the bottom of the file. To use a mixin in a component, we import and specify it in an option called mixins, which takes an array as value. View will take the mixin we exported and merge it with the object in the component. To demonstrate, let's import our new counter mixin into the two counter components. We can remove the previous data properties and methods because they'll come from the mixin now. If we take a look in the browser, both counters still work as expected. As we mentioned earlier, view will merge the options in a mixin with the options in a component. When a component contains the same option as the mixin, the component option takes priority. As an example, let's add a count data property to the click counter component with a default value of 50. If we go over to the browser, the button will show 50 as the count, but still increments when we click on it. So, view used the count from the component instead of the mixin. At the start of the lesson, we mentioned that composables are typically favored above mixins. That's because mixins can cause some issues. The first problem is that we can't pass any data to a mixin to customize it, so it's not as reusable as it seems at first. The second and more important problem is that it's not always obvious which options are in a component or what's available on the component instance. For example, a team member could define a key in the data option that's the same as the key in a mixin, causing unexpected behavior or even breaking the app. The Composition API solves these problems by defining a function that modifies data and returns it. And, because we can use both the options and Composition APIs at the same time, composables are the better choice. In the next video, we'll start learning how to test view apps with a quick overview on the types of testing available and what to actually test. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.